Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I wanted to talk about how you guys can farm yourself some permas. Because right now, at depth 145 in challenge portals, there is a way to loop Ifera. And if you don't know what Ifera is, it's a U10 Leviathan. And with these Leviathans, you can get a bunch of fragile torches, but if you're very lucky, you can get yourself a perma torch, which is, you know, a permanent torch. It stays forever. It's going to be orange. The rarity system is super weird for perma torches because the legendary, which is the perma torch, is higher power ranked than the stellar banners. And even if you upgrade your that orange uh, perma torch to the radiant one, the radiant still has more power ranked than the stellar. And then at some point, I'm pretty sure we're going to get crystal because, I mean, all of our gear is crystal. So it's just a matter of time before that turns into crystal. But that's a story for another time. The powering system is kind of weird. But the main thing that I'm trying to tell you is how to farm them. So this week in particular, it's at depth 145. You can farm this until the next coming Monday. And if you're from the future, you probably already missed out on this chance. And there's maybe an Ifera somewhere else, so you can farm that. I'll leave a link in the description to all of the stuff that will happen in challenge portals. Alpha Legacy keeps track of what's at each depth for each week. So starting on Monday, it's going to reset and you can loop whatever floor it is that you want. So if it's uh, Shadow Shard farming, you can farm that. And if you're curious on what the objectives are for whatever floor, you can check that out as well. But this week, I want to focus on Perma Torches because Ifera is at 145. And that's really important because if you're trying to get your Perma Torches, you want to be farming that boss. And you could farm it in U11, although U11 is really weird because you, there's a chance that you can get a U8 Permatorch or U9 Permatorch, even though it's Ifera. It's kind of weird. It doesn't really make sense. I'm sure that's going to get reworked at some point in the future. And apart from doing the delves to get Ifera, there's obviously the uh, Death Steppers if you want to get that. But the fastest way of farming Permatorches is going to be going into U10, going to that purple biome. I've talked about this in different videos before in the past. But basically, there's a purple biome. You want to go there and then you can invite a bunch of people. You can do slash join Levi, L-E-V-I, and there's a bunch of people in there farming for Levi's. So if you find one, you can invite the people in there and they can help you out. Or if you're in clubs, you can invite those people. And that's going to be the fastest way because once you finish that Levi, you can see if you can open up another U10 and try to find that same biome. Sometimes you can't. Maybe you can open up an alt account. And with that alt, you can go find the biomes. And if you have multiple alts, that'll help out. And if you're farming with a group, then that's amazing as well. Because then you can cover more ground, basically. So with someone else, you can try to find more biomes for Levi's and get it done that way. But if you can't do that, then we come to our next thing, which is delves. Because some of you guys might not be able to solo the Leviathan. Or maybe you just can't find a group. So Leviathans in Delves are a great way to solo it if you really wanted to. You don't necessarily need people to be in your Delve, but it does help out. You can get that Delve done quicker. You can have one person rushing to the boss room, and you can have the other person doing the objective. And in this case, it's, uh, I think, just kill 39 enemies. And it's not too bad. You can just farm the first three floors, and then whoever's rushing can maybe get some along the way to help you out. And if you have a pretty fast group to do this, maybe you can invite people from your club. Maybe you can invite the people from the Levi chat to do this with you. But basically, how you can loop uh, Depth 145 to farm Ifera over and over is to have an alt account that has the portal 144. Well, at some point, it's going to be 145, but once you get to 144, you can have your alt account and your main account go in that depth, maybe other people if you really wanted to. And then what you want to do is complete 144, and then from 144, you're going to go to 145. Then once you're there, you want to remove your alt account because that will save the 145 and your main account and whoever else is there can do whatever it wants to. And you guys can just farm the torch there. And then once you finish, you guys can agree to an area. So we usually just go to a club world. So you can do slash join world, I don't know, Alpha Legacy or wherever you're farming, preferably a club that you have access to, or you can just go to Medieval Highlands, some novice world, anything really. You can invite yourself, invite the group there, and then have your alt put down that same 145 challenge portal. Everyone will press E to join that delve and then whatever that is on console. Then once you guys go in, you wanna remove your alt account so your main account can farm. And if you're with a group, then you guys can just finish up the delve and then go back to the club or wherever it is once you're done. Now, if you don't have an alt account, that's okay because you can still farm this. It's just going to take a little bit longer. But you have two options, and they're both pretty long. Depends on which one you want to do. Probably the second option. But the first one is to just go in the corner and just wait until the objective timer hits zero, and that way you can't move on to the next level, and you just keep your 145 challenge portal. So then you can just do the objective, which is kill 39 enemies, and then go kill the boss, and then you can just repeat that process. Now the second option is to do the objective and just wait at the boss room. You want to activate the boss. You might die because I fear it can one-shot, even through death defying, which is 
kind of strange but it does happen one of the few bosses that does do that and you want to wait out that timer because that timer is a little bit lower i think it's like two and a half minutes or something whereas the actual objective is like six and a half minutes or something and i've been playing tro for so long i don't even remember the times for all this but you want to wait out that time and then after the timer runs out you can fight the boss finish it and then you won't be able to progress to the next level and then you'll be able to complete that challenge portal and then you can just loop it that way it, it, it does take a little bit of time but those are your only options now if you're from the future and you don't have ifera at 145 you can check out the description there's going to be a link that will take you to what is happening in challenge portals at the moment it might get outdated at some point but until then you guys can use it so check out the description for that and yeah it's gonna be it for today's video hopefully you guys have enjoyed drop a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will talk to you all later